the border zone 1494 2AY from Wodonga Tafe, we've got Mark Dixon in with us again. How are you? I'm very well, Sandra. How are you? Not too bad at all. Now, you guys had a big week, like so many people, out at the Henty Field Days. We had a great week, week out at Henty, despite the weather. Uh, a couple of wet days out there. But uh, Wodonga Tafe always has a number of stands at Henty. Uh, this year was no different, despite that poor weather. We had a great fashion design stand, and uh, I must congratulate Molly O'Halloran who uh, took out uh, the prize at Henty for uh, the best uh, fashion student. And it's a really good interactive experience, that fashion design. We bring some uh, students in from Billabong High School mm -hmm. in Kilcairn, and we use all our students in terms of the hair design, the makeup and the clothes, and it's an interactive experience for those students. It's a, it's a really good activity. But we had our uh, interior design students out at Henty as well, our agriculture and horticulture guys, and our motorsports teams out there. They all had a, a great time and, and hopefully uh, got a bit of business for us. Well, it's all about that experience. And speaking of which, if people have been at Wodonga Plaza, they may have noticed the pop-up store. Yeah, the pop-up store has been a really good new initiative this year. It's called Social Raw. It's run by our VCAL students. They're the Victorian Certificate of Applied Learning students. It's a really good opportunity for a bunch of kids who range in age from 16 to 26 years of age and it's an opportunity for them really to experience what proper retail is all about. So they, they run the whole store, they run the uh, point of sale stuff, they, they price things for us, they sell things for us, they make coffee in there. It's about learning some basic skills that will help them get a job in retail and then keep that job once they've got it. Gee, that's terrific, isn't it? Can I ask you as well, I'm, I love doing a bit of shopping. The coffee struck a nerve with me straight away because I'll always buy a coffee when I'm out. What sort of things do they have in that shop? Well, we're working with some local charities, um, mm -hmm. so we're selling some furniture that are made by local charities. So it's all being done not for profit, obviously, um, but as well as actually trying to sell something, we want them to improve their barista skills, their food safety skills, their uh, workplace health and safety skills, and their sales skills. So the coffee we make in there, we don't sell. So if anybody wants to pop in and get a free coffee oh, and just no, test you've done it our now. baristas, <laughs> then they're very welcome to give us uh, t test it and give us some feedback. Oh, wow, fantastic. All right, let's talk about training because, of course, obviously, TAFE do a lot in, uh, in training people for different things, as you've mentioned. Yeah, I'd really like to take a, a bit of time to talk about training. We talk a lot about students, and, and I think everybody knows what a TAFE does for students in terms of their uh, vocational skills and getting those first jobs. But it's really important that we put a message out to the listeners about what we might be able to do for people who run a local business or local industry because we're really keen to see their ideas about what we could offer for them. We do a lot of training for businesses and industry and it's about how we make that training innovative and, and keep, up to, uh, keep up to pace with changing demands. So we'd like the listeners to tell us whether we're getting that right or whether they've got a good idea that we could exploit and work with them on. Um, we've got some superb access to funding streams right now from the government. Some of those funding schemes are all about getting jobs in regional Victoria. They're about training innovation. So if we can work with our listeners and, and look at good ideas that have not yet been explored, we'll come and talk to those industries and those businesses and we'll find a way to fund that training opportunity for them to help their business grow. It's a really important piece of TAFE work that we do. We want to support obviously students but we're really keen to grow our work with industry and local businesses. It's one of the things that I guess since we've started having these chats that I've begun to realise that really that community aspect, having people involved outside of the TAFE, you know, giving their ideas and all of that sort of thing is really important. It's really important because it goes back to that role of the TAFE, you know, we're not just here to do private training courses uh, for specific needs. We actually want to be a part of the community. We want to help this region grow. We want to help businesses and industry grow. And the only way you can do that these days is to go and talk to those businesses, listen to their needs. And the old ways of training don't necessarily suit lots of busy businesses these days. So we'll adapt our training to meet their needs, flexible in terms of how we deliver it and when we deliver it, but, but we want to explore those innovation opportunities with those industries about how we might be able to do it a bit smarter. All right. If we want to find out more, what should we do? Uh, same old thing, really. <laughs> you can certainly email me. The best email is uh, ceo at wodongatafe.edu.au. You can call us on 1300 MyTAFE or you can visit us at our Skills and Jobs Centre, which I've mentioned before, that's mm. sitting on the high street in Wodonga, open at any time, um, and people can get all the information they need from the Skills and Jobs Centre or, in fact, our website. Yeah, terrific. All right, Mark Dixon, thanks very much. Thanks ever so much again. See you next time. Bye.